Hey church, I just wanted to reach out to you all. Uh, as the weekend approaches, uh, we as a leadership team have been uh, prayerfully discerning how do we best respond to the coronavirus COVID-19 uh, situation. And first of all, I just wanna remind you, uh, last Sunday I, I spoke about the, the foundational truth that God is good. And uh, we, we wanna build our lives on that reality that even when life is not good, even when we face problems, that God is good. And that's the primary focus of our hearts and minds. As Isaiah 26, three says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. And so even as there's uh, so much information from the media and so much uh, in the world around us that of course we need to be aware of, but I also wanna encourage you to make sure that you keep your mind uh, on the goodness of God and staying in a place of faith. Uh, of course, also we are practically trying to navigate with wisdom, how do we respond to this situation? And uh, at this point in time on Friday, uh, late afternoon, the latest guidance that we've received uh, from the CDC and also from our local government uh, is that there is no restriction on our meeting on Sunday. Uh, there are some churches in other states that are prohibited from meeting, and there are also some larger churches that have been um, encouraged not to meet. But for us as a church, the guidance that we're currently receiving from the CDC and from the local government is that we are able to meet. And so we are planning to meet this Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Orlando Museum of Art. Now, you'll notice when you come this Sunday, although we are gathering, we are going to be doing some things differently from a normal Sunday. First of all, you'll notice that we're going to greet each other differently. Uh, rather than a hug or a handshake that we normally do, uh, we're going to give you a wave, open the door, welcome you in. Now, also, we're going to be opening up all of the seating in the auditorium. Normally, we like to sit as close together as possible, but we're going to allow you to spread out just so you can feel comfortable uh, for you and your family to be able to worship together while not feeling that you're crowded in with other people. Uh, we're also going to be sanitizing all of our kids' rooms and all of our kids' toys uh, so that you can feel confident bringing your kids during the service, we're going to uh, forego our greeting time. Uh, we're also going to, uh, rather than passing the buckets for the offering during the service, we're going to encourage you to give online. Uh, whether you're in the service or watching online, uh, you can contribute and worship the Lord through your giving online. Uh, also, we're going to forego communion this week. And those are some practical things that we can do while still gathering, while still worshiping the Lord together, just some practical things in order to reduce any risk of uh, possible contagion through the uh, COVID-19 virus. And so we're going to meet on Sunday. That being said, we as a leadership team also recognize that there's a strong possibility that in the following weeks ahead, our regular service schedule may be altered. And so uh, we are putting together a plan right now that will involve both some online teaching and connection and then also meeting in your connect groups and with other friends and family in our community. And we say week in and week out that we believe that church is not an event to attend, but a community to join, a community to belong to. And so we will just put that into practice. And so we want to encourage you to stay connected with all of the information that we have as a church. You can do that by following us on our social media. Uh, on Instagram, on Facebook. Also, we have a Facebook group that allows us to have a little more interaction. And so although there is a chance that we will not, to be, able, we will not be able to meet together uh, in person all together, we will plan to still meet in our connect groups, in our homes, uh, really uh, house church style, church around the table. And so we want to encourage you to stay in touch with all that's happening. You can also subscribe to our uh, email that we send out weekly anyway, but we'll be communicating any information that you need through that. And so to subscribe to that, you can go to onechurch.net slash this week, onechurch.net slash this week. Um, in addition, uh, although we are meeting this Sunday, if you are a person that falls under one of the categories that's considered high risk uh, for the virus, we want to encourage you to stay home. 
Uh, in addition, if you're showing any signs of sickness, you're not feeling well, a cough, a fever, any of the uh, symptoms of the virus, again, we want to encourage you to stay home. Uh, you can join the service online through our live stream that will start on Facebook and on YouTube at 10 a.m. To find that, go to our Facebook page or search YouTube for One Church Park District and you'll find that uh, online live stream that goes live at 10 a.m. on Sunday. And uh, for those of you who are able to join us, we're looking forward to seeing you Sunday at 10 a.m. at the museum. I really have a word on my heart as we continue our Thrive series. I'm going to be speaking on the essential truth that Jesus is King. And I'm glad to tell you that in this day, uh, as so many people are uncertain and there is so much uh, anxiety in the world, I'm glad to tell you that there is one who is not shaken, there is one who's not nervous, and that's our King, that's Jesus. And so we're going to be worshiping Jesus together at the museum this Sunday or online if you're not able to join us. Again, stay tuned to all of our communication in the days ahead, and we're going to keep worshiping Jesus, trusting Jesus, loving each other, and shining our light in the community. So stay tuned and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.